I think in the future Tesla batteries will be cobalt free as Tesla addresses zero cobalt future in latest impact report which Tesla released. Tesla outlined its goal for responsible cobalt sourcing in its latest 2019 impact report which Tesla released yesterday on June 8, 2020. Welcome back friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Tesla plans to eventually produce a zero cobalt battery for its vehicles and energy products in its bid to source metal in a responsible fashion that maintains not only the integrity of the company but also the human rights of those involved in the sourcing of raw materials and especially cobalt. Cobalt is expensive for batteries so if Tesla goes cobalt free that means Tesla batteries will be cheaper and that means Tesla cars will be cheaper, manufacturing uh, cost of Tesla will be cheaper and also people can buy Tesla cars at a discounted price and also cobalt might Mining cobalt uh, is associated with very questionable mining techniques, which involves sometimes violation of human rights and child labor. Here's a quote from that report. Tesla's battery used nickel-rich cathode materials, which contain less cobalt than other widely used cathode chemistries in the industry, with our ultimate goal being to eliminate cobalt completely from our cells, not Tesla in its impact report. I think this is a very good news, friends. Tesla's lithium-ion batteries utilize an NCA cathode makeup comprised of nickel-cobalt-aluminum. NCA cathode stands for nickel-cobalt-aluminum cathode. That's the makeup. The combination of the three metals creates a battery that has longevity and stability throughout the life cycle of the battery. Cobalt supplies a battery with high rate performance and enhances cycle stability that give, gives it more cycle stability when exposed to high levels of heat, according to Science Magazine. Cobalt, while controversial, is a crucial element in lithium-ion batteries, at least for now, while Tesla continues to work toward the omittance um, of the element of cobalt from its batteries, the challenge is finding another metal that can replace cobalt while maintaining the integrity of the battery. Under a section titled Supply Chain Introduction, Responsible Material Sourcing of that uh, battery impact, uh, future impact. Tesla addresses and details its supplier code of conduct and human rights of conf and conflict mineral policy. The two documents outline the company's expectations for its suppliers and partners and require all members of the Tesla supply chain to uphold responsible and integrity-focused techniques when acquiring cobalt. Quote, Tesla is committed to making working conditions in our supply chain safe and human, ensuring that workers are treated with respect and dignity and that manufacturing processes are environmentally responsible, the report identified. Tesla's plan to utilize zero cobalt batteries are certainly in the company's future plan. However, while the element is still included in the current battery makeup, I mean the cobalt, responsible sourcing is among Tesla's main concerns. Suppliers of cobalt involved in sourcing, uh, involved, so suppliers of cobalt for the electric car maker are required and expected to follow Tesla's code of business conduct and ethics. Although many of the companies direct suppliers obtain some raw materials through subcontractors, Tesla conducts due diligence practice that maintain the safety and respect of workers everywhere. Tesla has even gone as far as removing some risks from its supply chain. The report explicitly mentions areas notorious for child labor, especially in the field of cobalt mining. Quote, because Tesla recognizes the high risk of human rights issues within cobalt supply chain, particularly for child labor in the Democratic Republic of Congo, we have made a significant effort to establish processes to remove these risks from our supply chain. End of the quote. The company wrote in that report. The eventual phasing out of cobalt from the batteries, Tesla users require an extreme process of due diligence now. Cobalt has been one of the primary sources of criticism for non-electric vehicle supporters. In particular, like people who don't like electric vehicles, they criticize EV's use of cobalt. In particular, the issue of child labor has driven as much skepticism from critics as nearly any other topic. However, the regular auditing and due diligence have helped 
Tesla maintain responsible labor and material acquisition practices, if effectively eliminating any criticism for utilizing cobalt at the current time. Currently, the company's cells use nickel-rich cathode materials and contain less cobalt than any other widely used cathode chemistries in the electric vehicle sector. Eventually, zero-cobalt batteries will be introduced into Tesla's electric vehicle steel, uh, a controversial subject like to source of the metal requires a tedious and specific amount of verification through a series of annual third-party audits. The transparency of the Tesla provides throughout the Impact Republic code cobalt sourcing section shows a responsible process of mining the metal. Tesla states that it has mapped significant areas of the cobalt supply chain and ethics concerning source that metal will be continuing to improve over time. So what do you think about this, friends? Let me know your thoughts. Uh, there is a lot to unload from that report, and it's going to take a while to go through things, this report, um, uh, Tesla's impact report. Uh, we'll update later with more information, but we would like to know what you guys find especially interesting in this report. If you have heard of Tesla's impact report or have seen that, uh, and you have got something out of it that we didn't cover here, in this report, I just wanted to focus on cobalt-free batteries. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, please. We, re we especially appreciate that Tesla addresses both emissions through manufacturing and uh, uh, and the cobalt free battery future well that's a very good thing if tesla can replace cobalt with another mineral tesla appears um, to admit that its vehicles generate more emissions also in the report in its manufacturing phase than the average mid-size vehicle but it comp compensates several times over during the use phase of the vehicle regardless of it is charged with the grid or solar power so tesla i think is is being honest um, and uh, an important thing to take from this is that electric vehicles are still not perfectly green and clean they are technology and manufactured cars so people who don't like electric cars and point these things out will do their best to point out that an electric vehicle still generates pollution as a negative argument uh, the reality is that electric vehicles are better for the environment they aren't a tree but they're better for the environment they are still a car better is a significant improvement over burning gas or diesel in an ICE vehicle. As the grid improves, then an electric vehicle will get even more clean and more uh, green. Batteries are recyclable, whereas fossil fuels are burned and not recyclable, right? So uh, this is this is a good news that you know Tesla has started recycling. Also from that impact report, you can see that Tesla has started recycling their batteries at the Gigafactory recycling 1,000 tons of nickel, 320 tons of copper, and 110 tons of cobalt. This is a, this is a big news. So electric vehicles are better, but they're not trees. Also, Tesla is uh, focusing on cobalt-free um, battery future, and hopefully one day soon they will get to that. We were thinking that, I mean, uh, that this uh, new cattle batteries, one million mile batteries will be cobalt free or less cobalt use. So that's another good news. So let's look forward to the battery day where we will have more answers about Tesla's battery future. In the meantime, friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. This is a developing story. I will also bring more reports from Tesla impact reports focusing on other aspects. So please subscribe to our channel so you may be notified. Ring the notification bell like this video to show your support and appreciation of all the people who help us to chronicle tesla and electric cars in this channel and i'll see you in our next report later today have a blessed day take good care of each other and support one another see you soon friends